Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. Uh, I know it's not a bird. Yes, <laughs> on the on the screen. Uh, today we're talking about uh, something that's dry, you know, that drives a lot of people crazy this time of year. Um, and I was standing on my deck a couple nights ago and I went, wow, listen to that. Um, that, that we're going to talk about cicadas. Uh, cicadas are a, a fascinating insect that we have prominently from here to the all eight to the east coast, uh, and there are a couple of different kinds. But there, the one the reason I'm doing this topic is one, they're very important food sources for a lot of birds, uh, but the other, of course, is they are a, a, a thing of curiosity for people who love nature, and they I hear them misnamed all the time. And so I thought, you know what, let's just do a, a fairly short one today about cicadas. Rule number one is cicadas are not locusts. That is a, 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 the misname that I have heard since I've been born. They call, oh, listen, the locusts are calling, and uh, they are not. Locusts are grasshoppers. Uh, cicadas are not grasshoppers. So uh, this one uh, is an annual cicada. And all these pictures are from the internet, so I can't you know, give credit to, I can't take credit for any of these, but the names of the people who did it are on there. So just want to make sure that you know that um, other people took these. Um, and some of them come from publications and MDC and places like that. But this is a locust. Those are grasshoppers. And they can be decimated. Huge, giant flocks of them can, can wipe out crops. But the topic we're talking about are the cicadas. And... There, there are two major types of cicadas. One are the annual cicadas, which we hear right now, and they're droning. Um, ooh, let's do that. I hope that's coming through. If you go outside at night right now, you're no, undoubtedly hearing that sound. Um, they, the, the droning of that, that sound is, is, is consistent. We hear it this late part of summer every year. It's as much a part of summer as anything. So, um, but the other type of cicada that we have are the periodic cicadas. Uh, and the periodic cicadas are based on either a 13 year or 17 year cycle. And whenever we have those occur, and, and at the same time that we have, and we have the annual cicadas going, it can be really deafening. Um, for us, I think, according to NBC's website, we're not due for another periodic cicada uh, hatching and eruption until 2023, I think, is whenever the next one is. And, and, and sometimes it depends on where you are in the state. Uh, NBC's website will tell you in northern Missouri or southeastern Missouri or wherever they, they're scheduled to uh, to uh, happen uh, to emerge. Uh, so what are the what do these cicadas do? What are they? Um, these cicadas uh, they, what we what we see in this uh, and we hear are the adult forms and that song that droning are the males doing this all together trying to attract females so that they can breed and whenever they, they breed the the females take their uh, abdomen that little little slice uh, uh, sharp on their abdomen where they can slice into a, a tree limb, a small tree limb, and lay their eggs underneath the bark. And the little small tree limbs, those eggs hatch, those babies crawl down the tree to the ground, burrow under the ground, and then they feed off of the roots of, of trees um, for uh, the, the uh, periods of their lives. So they, it depends upon which one they are, annuals or periodic. They can live 13 years under the ground, or they can live for you know just a year underneath there. Um, they typically don't hurt, especially adult trees, big trees, some young trees that they can hurt them. That is possible. But for the most part, they don't, they're especially large trees that, that they don't really affect them. But at the end of their, their whenever they're ready to emerge, then they, the, the, the nymphs, the, the babies to, to crawl back as they've eaten for a year or 13 years, they crawl out of the ground. And let's see, you got a picture here. And they crawl, they look like this, they don't have any wings, they crawl up onto the limb. I, know, I remember finding these as I was a kid, you know, the exoskeleton where they're, uh, they're left on the side of the tree where they've crawled up and then they've emerged, which is, they have a picture of that, showing the adult emerging from the exoskeleton 
um, and then fly off and then that's when they start their droning and we'll find these empty exoskeletons on the side of trees and things um, and they're you know for kids we we were found them fun to play with we loved them but they uh, that that is their but their life cycle but when these guys are in huge numbers uh, boy the, the birds go crazy one bird in particular that is a cicada specialist is the Mississippi kites which are increasing in numbers in our area they're nesting all over but these are known as, as cicada specialists they zip around and they snatch the cicadas off the leaves uh, at the tops of trees uh, and eat them they're an important food source uh, one of my neighbors out in my neighborhood had a young barred owl they, a family of barred owls that uh, this isn't the one uh, one picture there's grass clippings all in the barred owl's face where it was going down to the ground and stuffing it sticking its head face in there and he'd come up and he'd have a cicada in his bill and he was eating the cicada so lots of different animals uh that they eat them and that's why you know their rule of survival their theory on survival is boy we'll have a gazillion adults and that they can lay eggs and, and, and lots of will have a gazillion babies so at least a few of them will survive all these predators that like to eat us enough to pass them on and it's, it's very successful so um, the sound that you're hearing uh, is actually made on their by their abdomen they can rub uh, and drone uh, parts of their place together it's not a vocal cord like a bird or anything or for a human or a syrinx like a bird it is actually their atom that's making that droning sound and we hear it on and on and on so cicadas hopefully you learned a little bit about that about them today um, if you like the programs please give them a like give them a share send in ideas for future programs and until then come by and let's talk birds